What's up guys, FrugalBC. Today we are going to be talking about Algorand wallets. So I've had a lot of people in my comments asking about which wallet is best, why do I need a wallet, what does a wallet let me do, and kind of want to know some of the, what features do they have. So I kind of wanted to go through all of that today. This is a, this is going to be a great video for people just getting into the Algorand space. A good one uh, for sharing with people who are just getting into the Algorand space. We're gonna include this in our playlist that is called How to Algorand, or How to Algo, I can't remember what I called it. <laughs> I probably should remember that. But this is, should be a great video to kind of introduce you to this ecosystem and how it works. So we're gonna go through some stuff. We're gonna talk about why you should have a wallet and then kind of talk about the two, what, the, what it allows you to do and then kind of talk about the two main wallets that I think you should probably choose from. Uh, maybe briefly touch on some of the other ones that are kind of being worked on or being built. We'll talk a little bit about that, but I really think there's two main wallets to choose from. That's Para Wallet and DeFi. And maybe in a separate video, we'll show you how to actually set them up. But today I just want to talk about the differences between them and how they work. So let's get right into that. By the way, guys, if you like this kind of stuff, uh, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. I appreciate that a lot. Um, the main, the you know, memory you don't have to smash it. You can just press it gently. The main reason I do this channel is because I do the exp I do the experiments in crypto because I want to find out like how this stuff really works what actually works what doesn't and wallets uh wallets in crypto are one of the great ones the reason I do a lot of stuff on Algorand is because a lot of the stuff does actually work but there's things to know and we're going to get into that so let's start off with you know why why have a wallet in Algorand so I mean like one of the very first things you can do when you get an Algorand is you probably bought it through Coinbase a lot of people do I still buy a lot of my stuff through Coinbase actually I do most of my buying through Coinbase because it's really expensive but when it comes to Algorand I usually send my Algorand to a wallet so why would you have a wallet well a wallet lets you participate in stuff like governance uh, that allows you to vote on things in the ecosystem you can Use DeFi where you can earn money by staking Algorand or staking other coins. Uh, Tiny Man is my favorite for that, and I have plenty of videos on Tiny Man, so you can check that out. Uh, there's gaming. There's a lot of gaming Web3 games that are coming out on Algorand, including including Fractal Monsters. Got to mention them because they're the sponsor. That there's not they're not they're not the only game out there. Um, if you want to buy NFTs, you really need a wallet and other buying other ASAs. Now I've made pretty clear that I think most ASAs you should probably avoid if you don't want to lose a lot of money because I think they just tend to they just tend to tank over time. There's some exceptions, of course, and maybe we'll do a whole another video on ASAs someday too. Anyway, basically, if there's anything you want to do besides just hold Algorand, that's probably the best way to do it. Now, there's some reasons why people might not want to have a wallet. Some people are more comfortable just having it on Coinbase. They they like having a company behind it. They don't have to worry about holding uh, the passphrase and being worried about losing that. So that makes sense. I understand that. And I don't push anybody to get their own wallet. But even something as simple as staking your Algorand on folks finance, for instance, you can earn yield on it. So if you're going to hold it anyway, like you might as well earn, uh, you might as well earn, earn a little extra Algorand. So you have to make that choice for yourself. I don't tell you what, what to do, but if you want to step into this ecosystem, a, th a wallet is actually necessary. Like I said, there are there are two different wallets, Para Wallet and DeFi Wallet. Now, what, Para Wallet is the wallet that comes from, it started off as the official Algorand wallet, and I'm gonna bring it up on the screen here. And you can get this, uh, you can get this for mobile. You can also launch the web version. I haven't really loved the web version. I used to use, a wallet called my algo but unfortunately my algo got hacked and it's shut down since now the cool thing is one thing i want to explain well we'll get to that we'll get to that in a minute actually no i'll explain that right now uh one of the main things about the wallets that you need to know that i think a lot of people that are new to this don't understand is that the wallet is kind of more like a container and your address is really the the main thing so you can take that address it's kind of like the wallet, you could think of the wallet as like the SIM card and you could take the SIM card to different phones, right? This is kind of the same. So my address started, I opened it, I created it on my algo, but then when the hack happened, I had to import it. Well, actually before that, I imported it to Para because not everyone used my algo as far as dApps are concerned. So I had it on both and I also have it on DeFi now. So the reason I can talk about these three is because I've used all three. So you can actually, you actually don't have to choose between Para and DeFi. You could use both of them. You can also use Daffy, which is coming up. We're gonna have a brief mention on that. Um, so that, I think that's something that a lot of people aren't aware of. So I wanna make you guys aware of that because I think a lot of newcomers might not understand how that works. I didn't understand how that worked for a while too. I thought it was one one account per, you know, per wallet. So you can actually have your, your account on both of these if you want. 
Uh, so anyway, the, some of the features about Para, it's typically available for every dApp. It's kind of become the standard because it was the official Algorand Foundation wallet and then they spun it off into its own thing. Um, it's useful on the phone. I didn't like the web version very much, but maybe that's changed. I haven't tried to use it in a while. Now it was kind of glitchy in that, and I do a lot of stuff on my desktop, so that's why I don't like having the mobile version. I find it kind of annoying. Uh, one thing that used to happen is if you forgot to open the app, you forgot to open the Para Wallet app, and you did something on, on a dApp that required the transaction to operate, if you didn't have it open, you'd be kind of frozen and you'd have to wait like a long time for it to kind of unfreeze, so to speak. Uh, they seem to have fixed that though. I haven't encountered that in a really long time. So there's a couple times when I forgot to open the wallet and as soon as I open the wallet, the transaction pops up. So that's all. that's pretty awesome. Because otherwise the dApp is waiting for the transaction, but the transaction never happens because you didn't have the wallet open. Now that seems to be gone, so awesome. Uh, something new, uh, Para eliminated swap fees from its swap. It uses Vestige version 4 swaps. You can swap assets, you can exchange from Algorand to USD without Para's fees. Uh, it now has its own explorer. If you don't know what that is, that's like a block explorer where you can see each transaction. So like you might hear that, you know, the reason blockchain is great is because you have an immutable digital ledger. Explorers let you actually look into that ledger and see transactions and things like that. Plus some of the some of the stats and stuff, which are interesting, I think. There are governance NFTs through a partnership with Tiny Man. So if you participate in governance, which is you basically hold your Algorand and commit your Algorand to the governance for the three month period, you get to vote on stuff and then you earn some rewards. Uh, you can get your Tiny Man NFT governance NFT through that. And uh, both of these support ledgers. So if you want to use a ledger for added security, and I do have a link down below, if you're interested in that, both of these will work through ledger. Now, DeFi wallet, this is a newer wallet and it has its own token, which I'm never a fan of. There's there's a, a theory put out by some others, including John from Non-Fungible Domains. And I want to give him a big shout out because they're a sponsor as well. Non-Fungible Domains is great if you want take things to the next level so because you with your algorand address you'll get these complicated letters and numbers so you can have like you could have john.algo or something it's probably taken but some name.algo and then that's your address and that makes things a lot easier so you can check that down below as well as fractal monsters by the way when i partner with these guys i'm really really careful these th these two companies that i partnered with are solid and i vetted them for a year so you know i when, if i endorse somebody they're solid I, I, I take that really seriously. This is DeFly. Uh, like I said, it's a newer wallet. It has really great features. So one of the cool things about DeFly, um, it has like like market details. You can see the you can see the pairing uh, charts and things like that right in there. Swap features, even lim like limit orders and stuff. So you can get really really advanced. If you're brand new, that's going to be really intimidating for you. Well, well, we'll get into my recommendations later. But if you're, it might be kind of like the next wallet you use, so to speak. Um, and they are coming out with a web version very soon, which I am really excited to try out. Maybe by the time you're watching this, that's out and I'll have to do some kind of updated video or I'll pin a comment or something. I really liked my algo because everything happened in the browser. I could do it right on my computer. I didn't have to also use my phone, which I found annoying. So that's, uh, that's, a big, that's a big plus. I'm looking forward to that web version coming out. Like I said, it has its own token. Uh, you can stake the token in the, in, the, in the app. So I guess if you're into that, that's cool. And DeFi has been one of the better ASAs, but I'm just not a big fan of ASAs in general. And I think you should probably stick to Algorand and US dollar coin and stuff like that. Working on a solution to correct, to connect directly to dApps and, and avoid third party servers, which is great for security. I don't think that's in place yet, but they're working on it. I like that a lot. And uh, one of the things they allow you to do is to see your, your uh, DeFi plays right in the dApps. So that's really cool. Plus backup accounts, like I said, backup accounts. And like I said, they both support Ledger. Now, there's one other, I didn't bring up the chart, let's see. Yeah, there's one other one here I wanna briefly mention. This is called Daffy One Wallet. Now this is like, it's like in, uh, you can actually get it for Android in beta, iOS version coming soon. So this is still kind of in the future. I haven't really tested this out or played around with it too much. Uh, I don't have an Android phone, so. And this is gonna be, from what I understand, it's actually gonna be a little more like a little more like PayPal, where you can pay online at merchant counters using stable coins, cryptocurrencies, and tokenized real-world assets. In other words, uh, and yeah, and they're actually supporting multiple EVM chains and non-EVM chains. 
So non-EVM, Algorand, and Solana, they're supporting, but on the EVM chains, they're going to support Arbitrum, Avalanche, Base, Binance, Kronos, Phantom, Gnosis, Ethereum, and Polygon. So beta testing version, certain functions are limited. So here's all the stuff they have coming up. Daffy one payroll, uh, ramp, onboarding, offboarding. That's a, that, all that means is like your ability to buy digital currencies and get rid of them. Daffy one transfer, provide transfer to counter services, and also a card, which is kind of neat. So uh, very ambitious, but like I said, not out yet. So I wouldn't put that in my recommendations yet. I'm really sticking with Para or Algo. Which one should you choose? So I think if you're a beginner, I think Para is probably your best option. It's pretty simple. It's pretty easy to understand. Um, you got a separate tab for your NFTs where you can see all your NFTs that you've bought. You can see the history, which is really buggy, actually. That's one annoying thing is like it's really hard to scroll through your history. I really hope they fix that next. They did fix the other thing, so I hope they fix this. Um, if you're an advanced user, DeFi I think is gonna be more feature rich and more interesting. If you really like having that market info right on the right on the app, you can use that. And, and I think that's great. But remember, you can also use both. So you can try both out. Um, you can import your account. So what you'll do, you, you can start on Para and then import your account to DeFi. You can have it in both places and it doesn't really impact you or affect you in any way. Like. If you, like I, like I said, I have my account on DeFly. I don't really use DeFly very much. So I just see my Para stuff all the time and having an account on DeFly does nothing. But if I want to open up my DeFly, it's all right there too. It all, it all, it all syncs and connects. It's like it's not, in fact, it doesn't even really have to sync. It's just all, the, the wallet is the, the main thing, I guess. So I hope that helps. Uh, I hope that helps people like wondering which wallet is best for you. You know, if, you, if you're comfortable, you want to go right to DeFly and have all those features, that's awesome. Otherwise, I think Para is a great way to start out. And I think Daffy One has a lot of promise. There's some other ones around like A Wallet. I've heard some mixed things about them. I don't, I, I'm not really covering them until I, I, I like I like when stuff is solid, I can use it. And especially with like sponsors, just to kind of be out for a while and actually working and functioning, doing the right thing. So I wasn't sure about rug pull. So anyway, uh, which wallet are you using? Let me know in the comments below. And let me know what you think of this video or anything I might have missed because I can always do that, add that on an update. Uh, appreciate your time, guys. Thanks so much. Hope, uh, please do check out our other videos in our How to Algorand series because we've got a lot of great beginner videos for people brand new. And I'm going to try to make more of this content because I know like a lot of people are coming into this space and they probably want they probably want to know how to do this stuff. So that's uh, that's our video for today. And show if, you're a, if you've been in Algorand a long time, you know, show it to someone new. If there's someone new, hopefully this is a video where you can show them how these wallets work. So, um, and any other videos that beginner videos that you think we should do, uh, leave a message and I'll, I'll definitely consider them. So guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Hope you got a lot out of it. Hit the like and subscribe button if you don't mind. And thanks to everyone who's subscribed so far and I will see you in the future.